Cross-picking is another concept that is very useful uh, whenever you want to fill up holes in between melody notes. Uh, just like uh, we did with Carter style, concept number two, and uh, uh, here we are, we have a melody, let's say we have a melody on the, on the third, uh, on the fourth string open, all right? Just that simple D note. And uh, we, uh, we can apply the, a pattern that is very, very common. It's four beats long and it goes like this. Now this pattern, as you see, I'm playing adjacent strings and uh, usually we want to play cross picking using adjacent strings. And uh, I'm playing the fourth string open and then the third string open and then I play an upstroke on the second string. And the pattern goes like, I think it is a good idea to count the pattern like this, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. So we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two. Now talking about the right hand, I'm playing down, down, up, down, down, up, down, up. All right. And this is probably the most common pattern in cross picking. And, and I can apply these to, to chords, of course, like, uh, like this, for example. And again, the melody is on the on the on the fourth string, and uh, and the cross picking is nice. What I like about cross picking is that uh, it gives again uh, gives a nice uh, a nice groove to to the rhythm because we are playing one two three one two three one two. So we have that accent on on the one one two three one two three one two that it works very nicely if somebody else is playing just a boom chica type of pattern boom chica boom chica and over that we are playing one two three one two three one two so the, the two things the way they interact is very very interesting and something that I like a lot and um, now make sure that when you are playing uh, uh, those uh, down down up make sure that the, the volume is consistent in particular usually the second stroke tends to be a little a little softer not as loud as the other one so make sure that all three notes are at the same exactly the same volume and this is important when you are speeding things up you know make it make try to make it consistent as much as you can and so build your speed slowly and use the metronome well you know all this right so just be patient and uh, this is very very demanding this technique is very demanding for your right hand uh, let me give you another example uh, here I'm holding a C chord and the melody goes from the from the fifth string, from the C note to the to the fourth string, to the E note. So just just playing this example because, as you see, you can move the you can move the pattern through through different set of strings. Like in this example, I'm not playing the same set of three strings. I'm just playing uh, the fifth, fourth, and third string and then I move down to the 4th, 3rd and 2nd string. You can also do the other way around. So, just to, to, to show you that you can really twist uh, the pattern as you want to, to follow the melody. So let me give you here an example. We are in the key of C and it goes like this.
Here I'm playing a C chord and I'm playing my pattern. Then I move to, to kind of a G chord. This is a should be a G slash B. Anyway, it's just a simple chord. Just one finger down. And I repeat the same sequence. That is fifth string, fourth string, third string. And then I move down one string. So fourth string, third string, and second string. And then I go into an A minor seven. And again, the pattern is still the same. Starting on the fifth, fifth string. and then I just play a regular G chord. So cross picking again is a wonderful technique that uh, I like to use whenever the melody uh, uh, has some holes and I can uh, use it to fill up those holes and uh, to create a nice uh, interesting rhythm.